Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Zenworks channel. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Blast Impulse Gundam. Finally, I'm up to date. This premium Bandai just came out like a month ago, but you know, Australia is really slow and we are always late, so come on. But anyway, back to the topic. I gotta say that Master Great Box Art never disappoint me. It's way better than the premium Bandai Box Art that we got at the high gray or real gray. I hope one day that those two lines right there, they can have like box art like the Master Grade, which is pretty cool. You know, this box art right here is a very famous pose of the Blast Impulse where Blast Impulse is, you know, sort of like hovering, gliding on the water and then shooting all the cannons out. It's a really famous pose and I absolutely love it. So because, you know, a lot of people have been asking for Blast Impulse when Sword Impulse came out as well and it took it took us a while it was probably around like eight years of waiting and then now here we are finally able to see the blast impulse the band actually got blast impulse two years ago at july but it was called canon impulse and it was a ripoff and i don't really like the appearance and the other way that you can get the blast impulse uh, before this premium midnight is to get a conversion kit and then convert the force or sword impulse by yourself and that's there's the only two way that you can get Blast Impulse before this premium and I. But you know, speaking of Impulse right here, actually Blast Impulse is personally my second favorite of the Impulse design. My first one is of course is the Force Impulse and then it's a Blast Impulse and then the last place is Sword Impulse because I just don't really like the Sword Impulse appearance. I like the Blast one better. So, you know, enough chatting, let's get to unboxing first. Now, let's start looking at the instruction menu first. This is a very famous pose of the Blast Impulse where Shinazuka and his Blast Impulse is gliding on the water and shooting all the cannons. This is a very famous pose. And now looking at this, um, only K and L runner have a lot of crosses. That's the only part. And let's take a look inside very briefly. Let's take a look very briefly. So just flipping this. Now as usual, decals and the color guide. Done. Okay, now let's start looking at the runners. We have two B runners. The B runners is for the outside armor and then just quickly, quickly looking at it, I think this is the side skirt, this is the knee cap, and this is the side of the legs, this is the... Is this the arms? I don't, I can't really tell. This is, uh, this is for the legs, and this is for the waist armor, I think. And the rest of it here, I don't really, I'm not really sure which part is which. We have the E runner, mainly focusing at the feet, and the waist, a little bit of torso part right here, and then up here, up here, I'm not really sure which part is this. And then down here we have the, and it's the part of the head, yeah. We have poly caps and a sticker. You see, I like this kind of sticker, why? Because last time when I unboxed the Hakashiki Crash, they attached the eyes and the camera with the water side decal as well. It's really annoying to apply when they are really small parts that you need to apply during like the assemble process. So I like this kind of separate, separate sticker that I can put on so I don't have to struggle to put the water side decal during the assem during the assemble process. So I like this sticker better. We have an F runner, so it's for the this is the front for the front skirt, for the torso, and for the I don't know which part is this. Is it is this the is this the torso part or the legs part? I can't really remember. And then we have the H runner right here, which is the core fighter. We have two eye runners, they are the inner frame of the impulse Gundam. You can see here clearly the legs, clearly the part of the legs as well. Legs joined, and then we can see some legs joined again, arms joined, and everything here is just in the joint. I mean inner frames. We have the M runner. I'm not exactly sure about the price right here, so I'm not gonna be doing like too much assumption here. So I'm just letting you look at the M runner. The J runner, we have the, this is from the original impulse as well. This is shield, torso, and then we have the waist. We have, this is the action base adapter, is it? I don't really know. I'm not really sure about this runner, so just take a look at this. We have the L runner, 
and honestly i don't know which is which because i never built a impulse mg so but when i look at the instruction menu l part seems to have a lot of part that is not in use so we have the g runner right here beam rival this is the beam rival of course and then we have some wheels for the core fighter and the and the and the rest of the fighters and then we have the torso part right here we have the some of the inner frame or the inner detail of the impulse we have the k runner the first thing that i noticed is the is the movable hand from the master gray and then the rest of it i'm not really sure which part is which so just take a look at this we have the v1 and v2 runner they are pretty much the same they are new runners for blast impulse just look at the color you can tell and obviously this is the long cannon at the backpack right here and then we can see uh, the main structure of the backpack right all, all over here basically the whole thing is the backpack we have two two new runners right here is the u runner so you can see that most of them is the is the new parts of all the blast impulse you can see that this is the long can at the backpack as well this is the missile pods right here so just taking a look at this we have the w2 runner and the w1 is it w1 yeah w1 runner so w1 is the chin of the blast impulse and w2 is the beam effect for the beam javelin we have the a runner right here wow really colorful it's the torso part right here we have the we have the shield we have the shield we have the shield with the antenna the 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 star or the cross at the shield at the middle of the shield we have the antenna again and we have the some of the torso parts right here and then we can also see the head and the clear parts for the head i think or for the or it's for the window of the core fighter we have the c runner three pilot figures right here we can see the core fighter we can see some waist armor waist armor legs and some hand armor right here we can see this is pros this is the v part and then we can see some i don't know about this i don't know about these two right here and then this is possibly the core fighter part as well i might be wrong this is the d runner right here the d runner contains the torso part we can see some is is this the shoulders or oh wait it's actually part of the part of the back of the torso and then we can see some shoulders part right here some legs part and then we can see i don't know which part is this yeah i think so that's pretty much it i think and lastly the water slide decal i put it in the bag because i want to i don't want to scratch it or damage it and just taking taking a look at the decals right here it's actually not that much decals so i think it will be pretty easy for me so that's basically the end of the unboxing video thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified whenever i upload a new video like this video if you enjoy it and uh, i'll see you guys at the blast impulse review goodbye